Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to take a look at the S22 Ultra Experience port on our Galaxy S8, Galaxy S8 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8. Also, this is based on the Android 14 with the One UI 6.1.1 skin. So, without wasting more time, let's take a look at it. The XROM S21 Ultra port was the first Android 14 port to be released for the Galaxy S8 which was the One UI 6.1 based. And this one, the S22 Ultra Experience, is the second one, or uh, not the not the second one, the third one, because we also have the S21 5G port, which is another One UI 6.1.1 based for our Galaxy S8. Now, if you have not watched videos related to the XROM port and the S21 port, which is the S21 Ultra port and the S21 5G port for our Galaxy S8, you can watch it here in the i button. You can check both the videos. And here we have the S22 Ultra Experience port. Now for this, the installation is kind of uh, weird. You have to install the XROM S21 Ultra port first in order to install this. Then you have to dirty flash the One UI uh, 88895, which is the processor name ZIP. For this one, I guess that is kind of a GACI. This, this one is not a standalone ROM, but you have to flash it like that. The instructions uh, are in detail in the description. And for like, I'm not going to show you the total inst uh, installation in this video because it will get kind of stretch like it already had. But you can just follow the steps of here uh, in here, the X20, XROM S21 Ultra port and then just dirty flash the zip which is mentioned down below in the description and you'll be good to go. And uh, yep, that's it. Let's uh, uh, like just move forward towards uh, looking into this ROM. So guys, this is the home screen and this is, it looks nice with the S22 Ultra wallpapers. We have the live wallpaper on the lock screen and this is how it looks really nice. Uh, one more time I'll show you. This is how it looks. Let's move inside and the ROM is deep bloated. We don't get a lot of Samsung stuff, but yeah, most of the stuff which is already bloated, you can uninstall that easily without any issues. And this is the settings UI, which you've already seen in the X ROM. Uh, S21 Ultra port and the S21 5G port and this is uh, it shows the Galaxy S8 and here in product name it says Galaxy S8 plus I don't know why but that's weird and here we have model name as SMG9088 slash DS which is the Galaxy S22 Ultra code name but anyways you can check the baseband version which is G950F so it proves that this is the Galaxy S8 and here one UI version 6.1 Android 14, we get the Android 14 with it. Also, we have the, uh, let's get it back to the settings. Down here, you can see the August 2024 security patch, which is not even uh, with any other port. So this is the latest uh, security patch you can get with any Android 14 One UI 6.1 port. So guys, let's take a look at the wallpapers of this uh, S22 Ultra port, going into wallpapers, change wallpapers, and into featured. You can see all the stock wallpapers from the S22 Ultra. Uh, these are the live wallpapers, which is only applicable to lock screen as it says in here. Then we have both the home and uh, lock screen static wallpapers. So you can choose between any of them and enjoy the S22 Ultra home experience. Now let's move into the settings. You can also compare the settings from the video mentioned here, uh, in here, uh, yeah, the S21 Ultra port. Uh, as you can see, this is the settings UI, the One UI 6.1 settings UI, and this is how it looks. Good categorization has been done. As you can see, the customization, the basic uh, features, the sound and all notification stuff, and the network connections, and the security, the accounts, and some advanced features, then the device info stuff. Then we have some management and lastly the about stuff or the user guide and also the developer options which I have enabled which are there. Now the settings and all the features are slightly similar and all but let me just give you an overview. So this is the modes and routines and you can set a lot of modes here. The theater mode, the sleep mode. Uh, so it is just customizable for your needs. Then sound and vibration and these are the options we get. Uh, with the sound and vibration system sound you can enable and disable all the uh, you know whatever you need and what you don't need and vibration intensity you can uh, control here in three steps so this is good for me the first one and we have separate app sound feature too so you can configure if you want that sound quality and effects and we have dolby atmos and dolby atmos for gaming if you want you can use that uh, going down below into display 
as you can see this is how it looks dark mode you can schedule it then eye comfort shield motion uh, smoothness and you have to set that standard because we don't have the adaptive 120 hertz uh, display feature support we have screen resolution support you can uh, use the fhd or hd plus if you want to save a lot of battery but for me the qhd plus works fine because this is not my daily driver we have screen timeout up to 20, 10 minutes not uh, 30 minutes so like lineage os and then we have some normal display stuff we also do have the always on display so let me just give you a quick look at that and this is how it looks now it might look dim but that's how it looks and when you look it on your device uh, without this camera so this it will look really fine for you now let's move into the battery as you can see we have these uh, ui for the battery usage charging settings and advanced charging which is like fast charging for me battery information and this is the only three options we get for battery information as you can see battery capacity 3000 and in one of the video the s21 5g port it was showing 4000 which was of the s7 uh, sorry s21 5g so yeah some people got confused with the battery capacity it was showing so that's not uh, possible to change the battery capacity you also have battery protection which you can uh, you know enable to improve your battery lifespan so yeah you can do that and already check the wallpaper in style we have the themes home screen lock screen AOD we already checked and uh, getting back here we have security and privacy you have fingerprint and uh, uh, face unlock is not working so you can only use the fingerprint we have advanced features you can uh, choose the big speak key to open you know double press uh, you can use that feature if you want to Okay, I, can, I guess the feature is not working fine. So let's uh, just uh, just skip it. And then we have labs. We have multi-window for all apps and dark mode apps. You can configure these options. Then we have advanced intelligence. Now, if you use phone on this, uh, you, like you use a SIM card on your Galaxy set, then you can make VLT calls. You can make normal calls, but you cannot use mobile data because CS, uh, there is an issue with the CSC. So yeah. And uh, we have dual messenger and let's go to smart manager. Now this is the China, Samsung China, Chinese smart manager, which is present in here. You can check the memory, you can clean up memory and you can check battery and it will get you to the battery usage settings. And uh, that was it. You already checked the about phone options and that's all for the features of the Galaxy S22 Ultra port and these were the One UI 6.1 features. You can compare it with the Galaxy S21 5G port and the XROM port which is the S21 Ultra port and you can uh, check uh, and you can choose which ROM to use but this one has the VOLT and uh, calling working and mobile data is not working on any of the ROMs. And guys that's it for the video and uh, the bugs are similar so my conclusion for uh, this one is you can use this if you want the latest available security patch uh, from custom ports uh, which is the one us 6.1 ports and if you want to uh, you know stabilize your uh, one us 6.1 experience a bit then you can use this rom also guys when i installed this rom for the first time it gave me a freeze and then it went into a boot loop so at this point, what you will do is go again into TWRP, wipe Cache and Dalvik, again flash only the One UI 6, which is the S22 Ultra port zip, which is mentioned in the description. Please check while flashing and then you're good to go. Now I don't have any freeze or any random reboots actually like uh, in this uh, uh, period of time, which I have used like, like for two to three weeks. So you will be good to go on with the S22 Ultra experience port. So... I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, press the like button. If not, the dislike button is there. And also guys, you have the subscribe button in here. Please press it. Also guys, you can join my membership, my channel membership. It is in the least of an amount and you can like spend that amount like to support the channel and you get some exclusive perks with it. So yeah, you can join it here as a join button. And also guys, follow me on Instagram, join our Telegram on topic group. Also, if you join my membership, you will get access to the Telegram off-topic group, which right now there's not a lot of people, but please get added so that we can talk on-topic and off-topic both. So that's it.
गुड बाय गाइज सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद दी गैलेक्सी एसेंट बाय बाय